one run. If he brings that kind of stuff to the ballpark, he has a chance to pitch another gem in this one. And he fouls this one off. The windup and the 0 1. This one's down to third. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Got it, Kelly. The designated hitter, Jose Martinez. So coming to the plate, Jose Martinez, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Hit out towards second. In time to first, and there are two away. Now at the plate, Austin Meadows. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Fouled away. Pitch on the way. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One order, one, two, three. Tampa Bay nothing. Red Sox coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball, the show. Brendan McCain be on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy really struggled last year. This season is going to be about a bounce back year. Real ugly ERA last year. He has a lot to prove to himself and to his teammates that he's a much better pitcher than he was last year. Okay, this game's starting off exactly the way they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first after their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board. Boys are flying around. And even a pitch out can't do the trick. He's in there at second. So he swipes second despite the pitch out. Yeah, it seemed like everyone in the building knew he was going to be running there, right? Didn't make a difference, though. He got a great... You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead. But he made it work out. That was really impressive. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. As he arrives at second without a play as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Man, this is a continuation of the great at-bats we saw in last night's game when they lit it up, seemingly scoring at will. Now that double brings in a run for an early lead here. They just keep on keeping on. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. How about that for making something happen? First he rips a double, then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. The 1-0 home. This is line to left. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Hey guys, he doubled up on that breaking ball. The batter obviously timed the first one. Second one, he was not going to let go. Good wood on that one, able to drive it for a base hit. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Pitch outside, the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. One and no delivery. Runners on his way to third. In there. Now the throw. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. A ball and two strikes now. Yeah, Matty, you see the same pitch three times in a row, and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times, or do I have to sit on something else? Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. First pitch on its way. 
And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They come into this one looking to make amends for a loss last time out that put an end to a seven-game winning streak. Yeah, Matty, I don't think yesterday's loss should be a focus on this team whatsoever. I think they showered that one off. They had a big winning streak coming into their last game. Dropped that one, but let's see if they start another winning streak today. To the plate now, Pudge Rodriguez. Strike called, now the throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Hey, it's almost impossible to throw a base runner out that gets a lead that big. And plus, this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. That's a strike to throw down. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit hard back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And that'll bring home another as they open it up to a 4-0 advantage now. A good job of hitting right there, Debo. Runner on third, less than two outs. All you want to do is put the ball in play. He did just that. Hits a grounder right up the middle that drives in a run. Yeah, took it right back at where it came from. All you're trying to do is avoid the corners. Hit something hard up the middle, whether it be on the ground or in the air. You're going to drive the run in. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Throw over to the bag and a dive, but he's back in there. Rodriguez leads off first with one away. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. Before the 0-2, will look to first. And he's back standing. Four runs here in this half inning. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Line toward right center. And this hops over the wall out there for a ground rule double. And maybe a tough break as that will freeze the runner at third with two gone. There's one of the disadvantages right there to the ground rule double rule. With the first more than And no throw, in fact. Is Leading off the inning, Hunter Renfro. And they'll need him to get something going here. In there, no balls and a strike. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. He froze him on the breaking ball that time. Hunter Renfro goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. Yandy Diaz comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. And it's fouled away. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Fouled off. And he fouls this one off. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. To two balls and two strikes now. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Bogarts has a play. He's got it, and there are two down now. That is good. 
for second base. Infield shifted Double well eight. to the right. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. And it's one and two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Fouled away. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Hit softly down the line at first. He's got it. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Down in order go the Rays. Digging in, John Fenaroz. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Here's the first pitch to him. Short, hit hard. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. He's running. Pitch outside. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. A runner at second, nobody out. And the runner's breaking for third. Strike taken, the throw is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. On the ground to third. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Kevin Pillar. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Adamas takes charge, and he's got it. Two down. Number 30, number 30. Sliding into the box, David Ortiz. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Now back, the designated hitter, J.D. Here's J.D. Martinez. In there, now the throw. is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Clearly, they're not satisfied with the lead they're working with right now, and I like that. You don't want to disrespect your opponent and do that in a blowout game, but I don't think you can get comfortable with a fight. Two outs here with a runner at third. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Hard ground ball to third. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. G-Man Choi, the next to hit. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2, I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. He throws him on the fastball there. G-Man Choi is retired to kick off the inning. 0-1 the count. Now here it comes. And it's fouled away. And another foul ball. 
Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Fouled off. Bases are empty. One man out. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball. A high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. On could we see another strikeout here? It's 0-2 now. And he fouls this one off. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more. Into the box, Rafael Devers. He singled his last time up. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Meadows has it and there's one away. One gone here in the Boston third and set to stand in perhaps the premier backstop of the last 20 years the veteran Pudge Rodriguez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center and this will get down and make its way to the monster for extra bases. But the throw is offline and he's in there with two bases. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by no matter what. Work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches. But when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over. Runner goes for third. Pitch outside. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Down the left field line and deep, and this will wind up a foul ball. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Hey. Rodriguez takes his lead at third with one away. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. First offering on its way. Oh, that ball's driven into left center. This could be trouble. And it bangs off the monster. And add one more as this is now a 6-0 ball game. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Runner breaks for third. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Well, that definitely caught me off guard there. That wasn't exactly the typical steal situation with two outs and a runner on second. I can't say I agree with the strategy, but at the same time, now he can score. And the run is in to score from third. When you're up by seven runs any time in a game, let alone this early, it feels awfully good. They are hitting on all cylinders here, but they have to be careful not to let off the gas pedal now. Here's Mookie Betts. Runners off for second. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. The 1-0. 
And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. The set and the 1-1 pitch. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Stepping up now, Corey Dickerson. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Next for Tampa Bay. He's ready. Here's the first okay. offering. And outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Lifted into center field. Pilar's there, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now back. Digging in for his second at bat, Austin Meadows. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Meadows swings the bat and throws from the left side and stands in at six foot three. He was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Oh, the old classic two strike. Let's throw the fastball right down the middle. Not in this game. Got to believe you got to work the corners a little bit more. Fastball commanded. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Rays go in order. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And one thing he mentioned is how well they're doing at simply putting the ball in play. He said it's been quite a show that they put on at the plate today, and not just in terms of hits and runs. Yes, they have a ton of hits, but they've also only struck out two times. That's a rarity in the sport these days, but it also seems to be a winning formula. All right, Heidi, thank you. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Hey. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. And this one is gone, a home run. So a solo shot here to left center field. Eighth home run on the season for him as they've widened this lead to eight now. I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Stepping in now, David Ortiz, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Eight runs on 12 hits and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And they'll just waste one there, one and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Line drive to center field. And again, he's got himself a base hit. Make it three for three. Every game the pitcher gets the lineup card, he circles the guy that can't beat him. Well, obviously, he didn't circle this guy. That's his third knock of the game, and he has been on fire. Into the box now, J.D. Martinez. Strike called, now the throw down. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. A swing by Martinez, and this is driven to left. 
Going back is the left fielder. And it's gone into the monster seats. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Chaz Rome gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. Looking up is Dickerson. Gone! Back-to-back -back jacks on back-to-back -back pitches. Man, that's not very nice. You come in from the bullpen, and you get greeted with a bomb. He's going to have to hit the reset button pronto. So now to the plate, Pudge Rodriguez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Ready with the 0 1. Chopped this one left side. Reined in. And that's the first out. So his day is fully over as you get a look at the pitching line for the Rays starter. And clearly he was off his game this evening. Yeah, nothing seemed in sync for him out there in this one, Matt. He just couldn't get the ball where he wanted to, and the opponents really took advantage of that. That's a brutal feeling sitting in the dugout. Know that you disappointed your team and you went out there and laid an egg. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Made him look silly with that one. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting now Andrew Benintendi, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the... Back now at Fenway Park, and here's Heidi Watney with a report. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production, and he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher, able to pound his zone with all different options. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now bad. Number eight. In now, Brandon Lowe. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Not an easy thing to do to fill up the strike zone hey. and be successful doing it. How about this guy so far in this one? 100% of his... Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Down in order go the Rays. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. Leading off. Ready for another the chance, Jonathan Arauz. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. One and O oh the count. Here it comes. Hit to first, scooped up, and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. The batter. Into the box now, Mookie Betts in his career against this pitcher. Two hits in seven tries. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. Oh and one here it comes. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. 
it's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base and that's just what they did right there big strikeout keep that guy off the base path comes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch swing high drive left field and deep it bangs off the billboard and it's out of here At the plate, David Ortiz. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. One and one. Two and one to the Red Sox first baseman. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. This is pulled into right. Another base hit. How about the game he's putting together? Now four for four in this one. And that means J.D. Martinez gets to it with two outs as well. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. First pitch of the at-bat. And there he goes towards second. Strike taken, the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low-risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. As a look, now the pitch. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. So a two-run shot to left center, his second of the game, as they just continue to pour it on here. Colin Cloche gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Here now is Rafael Devers. He swings and grounds it to short. Adamas brings it in. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch, and the inning is over. So two home runs in the inning lead. Stepping in, G-Man Choi comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Right there for strike one. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. Arauz is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Digging in to try it again, Willie Adamas. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. He looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam. Sandwich. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Mike. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Fouled off. And he fouls this one off. Here comes another 0-2. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. Rays go in order. One, two, three. But this one's pretty much over. 14 to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Pudge Rodriguez. Two for three with a double on his line so far. First pitch coming, here it is. 
And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. The batter, number two. That was a pretty good fastball, and it almost got by him. But he's able to slap it in the gap in the right center field. Because of the velocity off the bat, the outfielders. Oh, and he's in the third safely with the stolen base. Set with the 0-1. Grounded down the third baseline. O'Shea is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you or sometimes you even have some mess. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Now back. Right Ready now, Andrew right Benintendi. Through. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. One out, nobody on. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Digging in, Jonathan Arauz. He's two for three and looking for more here. First pitch on its way. Hit on the ground out to short. And that's through for a hit. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. A run on two hits in the inning for Boston. We're through six full. Boston's out in front, 15 to nothing. All set for the start of the inning. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Corey Dickerson, his last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Hey, it's really hard to pitch a gem. And what helps? This guy's first pitch strike percentage, how about 100%? Can't get any better than that. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. 0-2, the count to Jose Martinez. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Jose Martinez goes down for out number two in the top half. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through Pretty seven better. complete, it's still tough. working on. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. He comes into this well, appearance in the midst of a one for four well, day. Mookie. Here comes the first pitch. Popped him up. Zanino over to his right. He's got it one away. Kevin Pillar will stand in again as he looks for home run number three in the ball game. As we flash you back here to his second home run. This was back in the fifth inning as he has the long ball working in his first few at bats. High and deep to left center field. Renfro is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. Striding in and working on a terrific performance in this one, David Ortiz. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five hit performance here. Hit out towards second. He's got it. On to first, and they don't come any easier than that. A three pitch inning. 
So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Hunter Renfro. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Pilar will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. Yogi. Jack swing, but he makes contact and hits it out in front of the plate. On to first, and he's breezing through the eighth here with two quick outs. We're getting into the nitty-gritty. That's the second out of the eighth inning, and the pitcher needs only four more outs for a no-hitter. Strike one to start the at-bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Betts has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Down in order go the raid. To the plate now is the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. And he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home. This is hit high and deep out to left. And it's off the green monster. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Looked like he broke into his home run trot a little early, and, and I can't blame him. He's already had two, but this one just misses, and he'll settle for a double. Having a heck of a game, though. In there, now the throw. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. From the stretch. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. Now batting, catcher. Ready for Ball. another shot now, Fudge Rodriguez. Rodriguez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third the is in to score. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Bases Bogarts. empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And no shot to get this. It's off the monster. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. But it's backed up well, so luckily there will be no advance. Oliver Drake comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Number 47, Oliver. Into the box, Andrew Benintendi. Pitches a cold strike. The throw is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Pretty unusual decision to swipe third with two outs in the inning. It's a big risk, especially with the lefty hitter up there, and the benefit isn't all that great, but he made it work out. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Gone! Over the monster for a home run. Guys, do you believe what we're seeing here today? With six home runs so far, this lineup is turning in a performance for the ages at the plate. Yeah, Matty B, you don't see this very often, d -Row, when it's cold and chilly like this, wind blowing in a little bit, but we're still seeing a lot of home runs. Yeah, Dan, I can't explain it. Let's just tip our hats to both offenses right now because they came to play. Moving traffic against this cold weather, not easy to do. Slice down the left side, but foul. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. 
pick up three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. Now at the plate, G-Man Choi starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Now here it comes. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Behind 0-2 now. Strike three. So now he's one out away from perfection. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful.